Hi, Chris here from Doc Product, broadcasting live from the DPI-8X SR Handheld 3D Scanner and Phi 3D 2.2 scanning software. As you see, I'm pointing my scanner at a human foot to be captured and converted into an STL format for 3D printing or use in a solid-based CAD environment. As I move around the foot, I'm turning it nice and green, which indicates I've captured good data, and it's elevated so that I can get all those different angles above below and beside the foot. I have one April tag that I used for loop closure, as you see on the floor. Now I take a look at my data briefly in unoptimized format, make sure everything looks good, and then I optimize and hit yes to use that April tag, which keeps the data nice and tight and uses it as a tie-in point within my scan. Now that it's finished optimizing, I have a second look at my scan. It looks like a very good capture of the foot. And I'm going to set a coordinate system on the floor to reference my data and make sure it uses that as my origin point. Next, I want to hit File, Save, and I'll save my scene to the highly compressed dot product point cloud format dot DP and use that user defined coordinate system. After saving the scan, I want to select Send Scene to dot 3D. And this will open it up right away in our side by side Android point cloud editing app dot 3D. Although all of the functionality here can also be completed in the Windows version of Dot3D. My first step is to switch to the Edit Crop tab. And now I'm selecting this box to select the foot and isolate that in my scan. It's a multi-crop functionality, so I can select and then invert. And then move down to then again select the floor and add that to my red area to be cropped. And then hit Crop in the bottom right. Now we see we've isolated the foot, a nice, small, clean scan. You can switch between the photo rendered or the point cloud view to get an idea of all the millions of color coordinates that were captured. Now I'm going to resave my file again in that DP point cloud format as foot scan OC crop, indicating that I've optimized, set the coordinates, and cropped my scene. After saving, I now want to export because we're going to be working with this data in MeshLab, which does not currently read DP point clouds, but it does read PLY point clouds. So I'm exporting that as a PLY point cloud file directly from Dot3D. Next step here is to bring it into MeshLab, which is a free meshing tool where you can bring in point cloud data and turn it into a solid based mesh. So I'm going to pull up that scan data of the foot and import it in, in PLY 3D color point cloud format. So here we see the 3D scan of the foot looking good. The first step is going to be to calculate the normals for the point cloud. So I want to go to filters, point set, compute normals for point sets. I typically set the neighbor num to 1000 for a scan like this, but you may want to play with these settings depending on the type of data set you're working with. Then hit apply. Sped up the processing a little bit here for the video. And it finishes and we see a brightening of the colors as the normals are shown coming out of the foot now. So this is a good result. The next step is to go back to filters and select remeshing simplification and reconstruction. And at the very bottom, we can select screened Poisson surface reconstruction. And then again, I'm leaving the defaults here and hitting apply. You can play with those again, depending on what you're working with. But this worked very well for our foot. So we see a good color mesh of the foot processed in rapid time here in the video. I can toggle the wireframe on and off. Uh, in the top left to have a look at the mesh that was created with detail from our dense point cloud. And I'll turn that off again now. And if I want to crop my mesh, I can do that in MeshLab as well. So I select the mesh, select the cropping tool, and take out the ankle, for example, where we didn't have as much data in our point cloud. And now I have a mesh file that's ready for export into our STL file format or a variety of other options. And I'm going to go to File, export mesh as and save it in this case into the stl file format select save and select ok that saves quickly and easily into stl format and i'm going to open up our second windows application here 3d builder this is a free 3d tool that comes with windows and i'm going to load in my stl file created in mesh lab and prepare it for printing here in 3D Builder. So here's my foot mesh in 3D Builder. Now I select inches as my unit that I set earlier in my model. 
before exporting the PLY. It asks me to repair some recognized issues in the model. Just follow that prompt and you'll be all set. Now I can move the foot around, center it on my screen, and then flip it upside down so that I can add a cylinder to my model in the Insert Cylinder tab. And this is going to function as a base for my 3D print. So it's going to create a watertight mesh by filling in the hole that was left in the ankle and also function as stability uh, to place this on a surface once it's been printed. So I can change the size of that, expand it, and now drag the foot down into the base and center it. So I'm going to move it back and forth a little bit to make sure it's in a good position to come out of that base. Once I'm happy with that, an option I have is to go to the Paint tab and select Color. And I'm just going to make the foot the same color as the base by default blue. If I go to Edit, now I select the foot and the base. I want to select Merge, and this will combine the two into one object. And then it's very important to go to the Object tab and select Settle. And what this does is it makes sure that that will stand upright. If I had it floating in the air, it would fall to the floor, although I already had it on the floor. So it's just making sure that even with the toe hanging out, it will stand upright. So it looks good. After I've settled the model, I can then save it back out to STL format, or I can go directly to a 3D printer if you have one connected. For any more questions, please visit www.dotproduct3d.com, or to download MeshLab today, please visit meshlab.net.